Alright, so Mike, aka Vegas Surfer, want me to do. Well, he didn't want me to do a video. Um, I just told him that I was gonna show him, make a video of my first um, planted bowl. Because um, he's getting into it right now, so. I was thinking about doing one, which is cool. It's a fun little project, and you don't really have to worry about about it too much. Okay, so this thing's been set up for about four months. And uh, I actually think I have a video of it when I first started it. But anyways, plants I have in here is Rotella, um, Pygmy Chainsword, Now the Grass, One Crip One Deadie that's just chilling. Um, Crip Parva, you can see it right there. It's looks really good in this. Um, some Dwarf Penny War, that's pretty much it. I say Now the Grass already. And I got a piece of Val that's chilling um the only thing that's uh been different is uh pygmy chainsaw is, i only had one piece of it and it's actually starting to propagate so that's really cool um some things to know about when you first start this um this thing if you're gonna use natural sunlight which i think he's just gonna use a desk lamp which works fine um you want to have something to cover the bottom because the first couple months I didn't think about it, but the the dirt actually it has like a, a bluish tint to it because I think it's from cyano algae or whatever. Anyways, algae will start growing there, and so it's gonna slow down your your growth of your plant growth down. And I did battle some um, hair algae for a while for the first couple months, but and then I started putting some floating floating plants there. So it's all good now. Um. There's only a little bit of the of it in there. I do have some critters that live in here. I don't know where they came from, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It sits like this. You can kind of see how the plants grow towards the sunlight. Yeah, and that's uh, I guess that's how it's done. Um, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Huh. Oh yeah, yeah. The only thing I have wrong with this is that um, it gets pretty cold out here at night, especially with winter coming. But uh, we just set up a heater in here because my grandpa has some tropical plants that he's growing in here. Other than that, um, like I said, the temperature is pretty inconsistent. It's pretty warm right now, but now it's cooling down since I've opened up the door to the house, and it gets really cold. So. Just be wary of that. I'm probably going to add some shrimp in here during the springtime. And I have another 2.5 sitting here. You can see that it has a piece of driftwood that has a bunch of funk on it. Um, this used to be in my 10 gallon, but I took it out because I got tired of um, taking it out and vacuuming the bottom. Uh, the only reason why I have it in here is because I did have some Nubius in here, and now I'm down to one. And it's just hanging. It's like hanging out. It's just chilling. I'm thinking about taking it out and putting it back in a 10-gallon. But I did do water changes on this. I just stopped doing it because I got lazy. It was kind of a hassle for just doing 100% water change for this little tank. And I don't know what to do with that driftwood. It's a nice-looking piece of driftwood. You see, it's pretty sick. It goes like this. It goes in, and there's like a little dip in here, and another dip. Anyways, I might just let it sit out in the sun during the summer and kill anything that's on it. Like, bake it in the sun. So that's it. Um, think about maybe putting the rest of my hair grass or some plants in there because plants outside are starting to die. But that's off the topic. So yeah, make sure you uh, you have something to cover the sunlight if you're going to use some um, extreme lighting. That's just a little tip that I figured out. Alright, have a good one. I can't wait to see your, um, your bowl set up, so keep me posted.